But first tonight, the big story today comes from the Supreme Court, where in a big blow to the central government in the Pegasus Snoopgate controversy, the Apex Court has decided to go ahead and form a panel headed by a retired Supreme Court judge to probe the allegations of snooping on political leaders, activists and journalists, among others, as alleged by the Modi government. The top co most court of the country also lashed out at the centre, saying the state cannot get a free pass every time by raising national security concerns. The court judgment has re-emphasized that the right to privacy is a fundamental right, as is the freedom of the press. It's our top story tonight. Big Pegasus Loopgate Blow to Centre. The Supreme Court on Wednesday appointed a panel of experts to probe allegations that Israeli spyware Pegasus was used for surveillance of prominent Indian citizens, including key opposition netas. The three-member Supreme Court bench, comprising Chief Justice N.V. Ramana and Justices Surya Kant and Hima Kohli, appointed former Apex Court Judge R.V. Ravindran as head of the panel. Eminent technocrats Dr. Naveen Kumar Chaudhary, Dr. Prabhan P and Dr. Ashwin Anil Gumaste will be the three technical members of the panel, with ex-research and analysis wing official Alok Joshi and Sandeep Oberoi. The court itself has been deeply conscious of aspects of national security and what they say to the centre is, look, you say what you're doing is legal, explain to us how it's legal, explain to us what process there is to choose to surveil these people. court gave them the option, which they rejected, of saying, don't tell us that you're using Pegasus, but tell us how you are choosing people. The panel will probe if Pegasus was used to spy on any Indian citizen, potential victims and steps taken by the centre. It will also probe if the centre acquired the spyware and if any government agency actually used it on any citizen. The Apex Court also had some scathing observations to make against the centre, slamming it for its vague reply and rejecting its limited affidavit, telling the government that the state doesn't have a free pass to snoop every time an issue of national security is brought up but adding a word of caution for petitioners, saying that right to privacy is sacrosanct, but has some limitations. Rejecting the center's national security argument, the Apex Court has asked very clear questions. Has any state agency or entity ever purchased, procured or used the Pegasus spyware on civilians? And if so, how and under what procedure? Who and how was this surveillance authorized? All of this will now be probed by the Technical Expert Committee overseen by a retired Supreme Court judge. The court has made its point very clear. The centre should have answered its questions in the court itself. Several opposition heavyweights figured in the potential list of snooping targets. The Supreme Court verdict will now give opposition another tool to attack the centre. With Anisha Mathur in Delhi, Bureau Report, India Today. So what really does this Supreme Court judgment mean, particularly for the right to privacy, particularly for snooping on citizens as is being alleged? Joining me now, N. Ram, senior journalist and uh, one of the petitioners in the case. Also, Justice Deepak Gupta, former judge of the Supreme Court. Appreciate both of you joining us, Mr. Ram. How do you see this Supreme Court order? Do you believe this is a major step forward in uncovering the truth in the Pegasus snooping case? Yes, I welcome the order because, uh, yes, and I think it is, uh, it is a significant step forward. I don't want to second guess what's ahead mm -hmm. uh, on this because, uh, you know, the, the committee's job is cut out, well cut out. Uh, but... Uh, Yes, it is, because this is one of the key prayers. The first one was the government should uh, confirm or deny that they use Pegasus against uh, various uh, individuals and, mm -hmm. and so on. Some directly affected, some, uh, uh, you know, uh, there was an attempt. Uh, and the, the key prayer was uh, uh, appoint an independent uh, committee mm -hmm. under the uh, uh, chairmanship of uh, a, a sitting or retired Supreme Court judge. It was mainly retired because the Supreme Court would not spare a sitting judge. Mm -hmm. And that has happened. So when the government strenuously opposed this, resisted this. First, it refused to 
uh, say yes or no to whether, uh, you know, the question whether you've used it, uh, claiming that national security would have been compromised, which was not, was not accepted by the Supreme Court. That's clear in the judgment. Mm -hmm. and, and the second thing is the government said, we will appoint our own expert committee. And the Supreme Court didn't agree to that as well. So uh, we, we are, I'm very pleased that uh, yeah. this, this has been accepted. Mm -hmm. Uh, and an independent uh, uh, arrangement has been made to inquire into it mm -hmm. with experts. Uh, the Supreme Court also said they had a hard job uh, finding people who would agree to take it on. Some say, uh, cited personal reasons, others cited conflicts of interest. Uh, they, and they said, uh, had the government done otherwise, they, we, this burden would, would not have been placed on us. Yep. They said it was, he said it was a burden. Mm -hmm. And I think... Uh, so we welcome this. It you, is a you, significant step forward. You're saying it's a significant step forward that you welcome, but the central question that you have posed in your petition and here at the moment, whether the Pegasus software was used to spy on politicians, activists, journalists, is still not answered. And who is to say that the center could still cite national security before an expert committee and say, look, we are not going to provide you information. That information, which is critical, that question will need to be answered, Mr. Ram. Yeah, I don't think it should depend entirely. It will depend or should depend entirely on the central government's attitude or cooperation. Because uh, it is possible independently to investigate it. For example, Rajdeep, we know that uh, uh, Amnesty International has developed a software mm -hmm. which has been validated by uh, probably the world's leading expert group at the Citizen Lab at the University of Toronto. Uh, where, wherein if a person suspects uh, or that he or she, uh, her, her phone has been targeted, you could upload your contents onto the website and that will uh, determine whether uh, your uh, phone has been compromised with the use of uh, NSO's Pegasus. Uh, and this has been accepted in different parts of the world. So right. it is possible here, uh, whether the government cooperates or not, to find out uh, if it has been used. And then the question will arise, who used it? Right. Uh, who And uh, it'll bring us pretty close to the truth, I think, in that case. You know, that's what we're all looking for, to find out the truth in this case. Justice Gupta, your first reactions to the Supreme Court order saying that there will be an expert committee, including technical help, that will look into these Snoopgate allegations and take those allegations. Do you believe that uh, this is a step forward? Is this a landmark judgment? I definitely believe it's a landmark judgment. I think it's a proud moment for the Supreme Court mm -hmm. where it's not been bullied by the government into going into for what is sealed cover or something of that sort. And we have the court passing an order protecting the rights of the citizens. Mm -hmm. I've been saying this for the last couple of years that the Supreme Court has two roles, one as an adjudicator of disputes, but one as a protector of the human rights, civil rights of the citizens. And today is really a day where we should be proud of this judgment, where the Supreme Court has in no uncertain terms said that when the right of privacy of a citizen is concerned, when the right of freedom of press is concerned, right. they will look into the matters and merely because the state raises the issue of there being some danger to the sovereignty Sir, and integrity of the country right. that can't be used but, as a cover every time. But, but you mean, know, what? Uh, uh, words have been used in the judgment. Yeah, sorry, uh, Justice Gupta, sorry to interrupt. But, you know, while, while there have been strong observations made by Justice Ramanna, Chief Justice, uh, in this case, the flip side is, at the end of the day, the proof of the pudding lies in whether this committee will actually be able to tell the nation whether people's phones were indeed snooped upon or not. And how, uh, you know, and what do they intend to do about it? Because the fact is, we've seen in this country in the past, death by committee. Committees are formed and the matter simply gets dragged on and on and nothing comes out of it. Are you confident that this committee will actually be able to get to the bottom of the Pegasus case? No, well, this is not the government appointed committee with the uh, government wanted. This is a committee headed by Justice Ravindran, who is one of our very fine retired judges. And also... You know, you if you read the judgment carefully, the chief justice in the judgment 
says that they went they had a great difficulty finding people to man the committee yes because there is a conflict of interest people are not willing to come on to some committees mm. what you saying is also not totally uh, uh, you know there is some basis for that mm. because the government could withhold i mean i hope they don't mm. but could act as a not a very encouraging partner in this committee mm-hmm. and they then what will be the powers of this committee because those powers have not been defined the reference but they are acting on behalf they are acting on behalf of the supreme court of india right. and therefore i think the government would be well advised to cooperate with the committee you know that's that's precisely it mr ram so far the modi government seems to have been reluctant to share information even with the supreme court i mean they kept stalling the issue do you believe the government in hindsight would have been better advised to actually share information with the supreme court or do you believe the government's plea that there are certain issues about snooping up that involve national security that cannot be discussed in the public domain is that a fair argument that the modi government makes no that doesn't wash at all because they didn't watch the supreme court either because they said yeah we are not looking into those aspects where national security is clearly involved mm-hmm. nor did the uh, our lawyers also made it clear we are not interested in looking at that we don't want that to be mm-hmm. uh, inquired into uh, but uh, how do you explain uh, tapping off uh, you know uh, according to the whistle blower the, the list of 50000 included uh, several uh, indian numbers uh, how do you explain that prashant kishore's phone at the height of the campaign in west bengal was uh, targeted Mm-hmm. clearly targeted compromised in fact or gagandeep khan gagandeep were khan's khan's uh, phone was uh, uh, sought to be uh, infiltrated mm-hmm. or compromised we don't know if it actually happened because i don't think she she put it up on that uh, website or allowed that to happen and several others journalists political leaders etc so uh, there, there's no you know nothing suggests that national security was even considered Mm-hmm. You, you know the what the court also mr ram interestingly has looked at is the right to privacy that you know this is an undefined right the court says this is a fundamental right do you believe that also makes this an important judgment that the right to privacy is slowly and surely being defined in this country because otherwise for much too long governments have tended to ignore this and have intruded into the life of people yes uh, it's involved it is very much there and uh, the right to privacy is uh, now part of the right to life mm-hmm. one of the fundamental rights but the supreme court also mentioned uh, free you know free speech and freedom of the press mm-hmm. and uh, uh, eloquent sentences on on the need to defend that so i think it's uh, the privacy is important but so are uh, other fundamental uh, rights involved including right to liberty uh, and so on so i think uh, net uh, it's it's i think these things have been brought to the fore and mm-hmm. these are relevant issues that uh, you know so uh, I, uh, justice gupta let me come back to a question i had asked mr ram earlier you know the worry that people have is that these committees that the governments of the day are such they do not want to part the real information with even these committees for example whether a contract was signed with an israeli company or not can the government get away any more in your view by saying this is national security we cannot share this information with this committee after what the supreme court has said today do you believe that the uh, that the government can still stone wall will we ever really know whether contracts were signed with pegasus or not no then the supreme court would intervene i think if it's if this committee set up by the supreme court mm-hmm. finds that it is difficult to get information from the government it can come back to the supreme court and then the government supreme court would not have difficulty in passing orders mm-hmm. you see in fact i think the government in this case was clearly i mean misadvised or ill guided to take up the stand that it took mm-hmm. the court gave it the government more than ample opportunity to come clean and still protect what we wanted to do in the national interest mm-hmm. you see uh, we all know that if we uh, all of us take an oath to protect the sovereignty and integrity of the country mm-hmm. i mean judges also have taken that oath it's not the sole uh, prerogative of the executive of the army of the police and when such information if they filed an affidavit yes we have pegasus mm-hmm. we used it sparingly 
etc we don't want to give information of who's been given but we're giving information in seek in a seal cover to the supreme court because that much you will have to give it to the government they can't disclose every name mm -hmm. but here a blanket thing neither saying we've uh, hired taken pegasus or we've entered into contract with pegasus neither saying that we've uh, you know used this uh, software to spy on anybody that is it just neither saying yes or no Do you, beg your pardon no no do you, do, you, do you get a sense uh, 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 justice gupta that somewhere the government was trying to hide this entire issue the impression that comes out is the government doesn't want to reveal all that's why the supreme court today came down heavily on the government do you believe that the center is trying to hide something from the public from the court also it's see uh rajdeep the laws as they stand today provide the government sufficient powers to uh, you know uh, carry out surveillance where the need arises mm -hmm. but everywhere there is a committee in most states there will be a committee headed by the chief secretary or the secretary home and the dgp mm. in the center also maybe the cabinet secretary or some senior secretary they'll be they'll have to take a decision and informed decision give reasons why somebody's phone should be tapped mm -hmm. or somebody should be put under surveillance and what is the reason for that now you can't do it in a country that purports to follow the rule of law you cannot do it you know by executive fiat that okay i don't like mr a so let's have tap his phone that can't be done and i think that is the nub of the problem i think they may have done they may have kept some phones in under surveillance which uh, without following the legal norm the second issue is uh, sorry the second issue is that pegasus is also a very very powerful software which can even inject things into well into my phone which i never intended to right that, that's evidence can be created by you know that somebody should have a record of what has been done you know you can't put a citizen's life at stake by putting in something in his phone which he's never even accessed himself no those are very so, strong yeah. words very very strong words coming from you justice gupta in that sense given the way this has played out an entire parliament session was also blocked on the issue and ram do you see this possibly eventually becoming india's watergate moment is that too early to say is this a moment where the political class is being exposed for snooping on people and the public is slowly going to find out the darker side of the deep state can this become the watergate moment or is that an excessive thing to say at this moment yes i don't think we could say that yet uh, we have to see how how this develops further but certainly this has been projected at the national level and the and, and no better place than uh, than the supreme court for to examine this so that's far, so in that sense it it, it uh, you know this has been people who, who who have said that this is a misuse or abuse mm -hmm. gross abuse unacceptable abuse of uh, survey, you know military grade spyware uh, infringing uh, Uh, right to privacy as well as other fundamental rights they have been vindicated so in that sense uh, uh, you know in the in the uh, in the public realm uh, it is important that these issues are being discussed but mm -hmm. what a great moment clear uh, you know that, that was clearly as, as, uh, you know something was clearly established i think we have long way to go before we can claim that you know you, you've stopped short uh, even in your petition of directly in a way naming the modi government mr ram as being responsible in some way for infiltrating people's phones do you believe though that the government uh, which in turn has tried the modi government has tried to suggest this was all an attempt to create a lot of smoke and mirrors there's no substance with this committee appointed is the modi government now squarely under the scanner for the manner it may have gone about this surveillance in your view mr ram Yes, clearly, because uh, NSO claims it only say, sells uh, the stuff to uh, governments and uh, in a very responsible way, or government agencies. So if, uh, but then uh, they, they'll explore other uh, possibilities also to see whether any hostile power has done it. In which case, the question will arise: Why is the Indian government not vigilant in having this investigated or bringing those facts out? So yes, it is very much under the under the scanner. Uh, but but uh, yeah, the Supreme Court has, uh, I think, 
thrown the ball into the national court and they are into the lap of this committee and we hope the committee will uh, will be able to do it as expeditiously as possible but i don't want to second guess uh, what will happen at that stage there's still a long way to go before we come out with the truth in a way that is uh, clearly established the truth is clearly established we hope that that happens and we hope it happens within a clear time period Justice Gupta N. Ram for setting the stage and explaining why this judgment is so important. Thank you very, or order is so important. Thank you very much.